underway right now. Storm Riders versus Crimson Sky Menace in the winner's bracket finals. Loser of this one will go down to the loser's bracket finals and await the rest of the loser's bracket to catch up. Duel at Dawn going to be the map. This is going to be an intense game. Very close range, very brawly, I imagine. Uh, it depends where they decide to fight. Let's check out the ships right now. For the Storm Riders, we have the Fancy Deadlock, Amabula being piloted by Dementio, Carinade up top, not something you usually see with Gatling and Artemis on the lower decks, Artemis and Artemis on the upper. They're also bringing the killing feature, a squid being piloted by Finks, Carinade on the front with Flamethrower on starboard side, Mine Launcher on the back, very traditional disabling squid. Over on the other side, we're seeing the Crimson Sky Menace with the Kiss Me Co-Caster. <laughs> it's a Goldie being piloted by High King Thorgrim. Carinade on the front with flamethrowers on either side. Yeah, one in each hand. They're also bringing the Parrot's Beak. It's a Pyramidium being piloted by Elendu. Gap Mortar forward with Carinade and Banshee on the port side. Now, they're already getting edged into the back here, hitting the Trade Winds. But they're not going to get flung back. They're okay. They're maneuverable enough. But here's the real question. What do the Storm Riders do in this situation? Fancy Deadlock and Killing Feature are going to have a hard time getting around here. Looks like the uh, Crimson Sky Menace are just going to choose to charge around. Kiss me, Co-Caster. Going to charge in first. Parrot's Beak. Bring it up the rear. Doesn't want to get pelted with that Artemis just yet. But the Artemis is going to have a pretty easy time hitting the front gun of that Kiss Me. It's going to come down any moment now. There we go. Hellhound down. Killing feature. Now going to be the first target of the Gatling. But not really worried that much about it. And those triple Artemis? Going to make short work of any guns on the Parrot's Beak. Right now, there is not much of an approach at all for the Crimson Sky Menace. And the killing feature, just taking its good sweet time and letting the fancy deadlock lock down these two ships. Now, the Kiss Me Co-Caster finding its opening. Their Hellhound is back up, but it... No, it's still up. I thought it got dropped, but it's going to be fine. Now, the killing feature, managing to land carronade shots into the blue into the Kiss Me, and it's dropping fast. If it hits this battleship, no, just barely going to sail over it, but the killing feature is going to stay on this Goldie real hard. Oh, they bounce, though, and they're going to sail right over. Kiss Me's balloon comes back up, but they're going to be struggling along the ground. In the meantime, up top, Fancy Deadlock getting the better of the Parrot's Beak. They got the ramp, but the Carinade is putting out the chip damage onto the hull. Kiss Me Co-Caster, now grinding against the ground, and the Flamethrower is going to help this kill go out significantly faster. Nudge to finish that one off. In the meantime, up top, Fancy Deadlock finally getting the worst end of this fight, but those Artemises are keeping each of these guns on the front of the Parrot's Beak down consistently. Gatling drops before there's even close to an armor break. Killing feature coming in to help finish off this kill. Fancy Deadlock's weapons are damaged, but they should be able to finish this off no problem. They're even going to ram for it. They want to make sure they get this kill before the Goldie comes back in, and that is going to be 2-0 in favor of the Storm Riders. Fancy Deadlock and Killing Feature both getting spotted immediately, but so is the Goldie. Now I wonder, where is this Pyramidian going to spawn? Is it, is it going to spawn to assist its Goldfish, or is it going to spawn across the way to get a flank? If it can get a flank on the Fancy Deadlock and a good ram when nobody's looking, that would be really strong. Now right now, Kiss Me still needs to get the buffs going. Does it have a buff hammer? Yeah. It has a buff hammer, but it only has one. So it's got to make sure to get these buffs going before the fight begins. The getting chem spray is going, and the parrot's beak does spawn in to assist its ally. But the fancy deadlock is already on it. Mortar's coming out just for funsies, I guess, because there's no way they're going to do any whole damage like that. And here come the shots. Gatling goes down. Mortar goes down. This poor Pyramidian has been locked down all game. Now the Kispy Co-Caster wants to come in and try to do something about it as the killing feature also swaps in. This is the engagement the Crimson Sky Menace wanted. Now Kispy Co-Caster dropping down low, trying to take as little damage as possible, buying time to bring its Hellhound back up. It gets rebuilt, and it's going to be an arc really soon, but they lost one of their turning engines. Fancy Deadlock did a good job bringing it down. Now here comes the Hellhound. Only a couple of shots to bring it down, but they bring down the Hellhound first!
The balloon is so low on the fancy deadlock, but they can't finish it off. Now the parrot's beak managing to pull away from the squid over to this fight. But they're losing their armor, they're losing their balloon, and they can't make anything happen. The fancy deadlock is on the weak starboard side of this pyramidion, and there's nothing they can do. Flamethrower going out, and the chem sprays aren't quite there. Balloon drops, armor drops, and the ram is gonna get the kill. The Kiss Me Co-Caster is in so much trouble. They lose their balloon. The carronade making, double carronade, making short work of it. And this squid is going to follow this goldfish down to its doom. Armor getting burnt away, all engines burning, losing a massive amount of efficiency. Gatling has an easy shot into the hull, and there they go. 4-0 in favor of the Storm Riders, and there is not a lick of hull damage on either of them. None. These ships are just as shiny as they were coming out of the shop. Shinier, in fact, because of the buffs. Crimson Sky Menace have got their backs against a wall now. Figuratively speaking, they've really got to pull something out right now. They got the engagement that they wanted. They were okay with having the Metamidian uh, fighting this squid as long as the goldfish could actually make something of it. But those Artemis shots have been fantastic. Huge shout out to Exterminator, Yarman Kell, and Tiberius III. They have been doing fantastic all game. Taking out the front guns of the Pyramidian, taking out whatever engines they can at any given time. However, this Goldie spawns him real close. Fancy Deadlock wants the kill, and I think they're going to get it. Killing feature a little bit far away. They hit a mine. Not exactly ideal. But they're still going to be able to be a part of this fight. Now, Parrot's Beat coming in. They finally have a chance to have their Gatling and Mortar going at the same time. Karen comes out looking for the Disables, but the spread, I think, is too wide. No, they get it. They take down the Gatling, and now the Fancy Deadlock has, a, has this engagement locked down as the killing feature. Goomba stomps this Blenderfish into the ground. Not quite able to get the kill, though. They have the Carronade bumping up against the Balloon. Flamethrower out on the killing feature. They've got to get out of the way of this. No, they don't. They have chem sprays on all the relevant components. Now, their engines might get a little bit. One of their guns is taking damage, but they're not even going to struggle at all getting that kill. Mario making sure that no fires get out of control. Good golly, Miss Molly. 5-0 for the Storm Riders. And the Crimson Sky Menace is going to get dropped down to the loser's bracket. Checking brackets. Looks like Bards and Clan Clan is still going right now. 